Hey guys, welcome to the full in-depth camera review for the Elephone U Pro. I'm currently filming with the front camera of the Elephone U Pro in 1080p. It's currently about negative 4 degrees in Toronto, so it's not cold at all. I don't need gloves. And if you want a chance to win an Elephone U, be sure to click on the link in the description down below to enter the giveaway, and best of luck. The Elephone U Pro can take some stunning photos. Take a look at this photo of my dog. The detail in this photo is just crazy. You can see the individual hairs on his head and whiskers on his snout. And just look at the snow resting on his nose. Crisp, clear, and great. Color reproduction is also quite stunning with the blacks greatly contrasting the whites and the brown part of his snout, a deep chocolate. And look at this colorful photo of my lunch my colleague brought. It's meatloaf, I think, with ketchup and mustard on it and frozen vegetables underneath. Honestly, it looks kind of disgusting, no offense if you're watching, but the detail on this photo is great and the color reduction and saturation are so true to life and nice as well. Now, this is also a really disgusting looking lunch. Nice deep greens contrasted by orange and red, but if you zoom in a little bit, you will see the edges of the vegetables look a little bit weird. Not sure what's going on there. Now, next, look at this photo of the sign I took and you can see that the color reproduction is again greatly contrasted by the blue and white clouds, the green fir tree, as well as the silver sign. It really makes for a quite striking picture that I think looks absolutely nice and there's a lot of detail in this photo as well. Landscape shots look pretty good even when the sun's shining in your eyes. However, if you do enable HDR, I do think that the HDR does blow out the photo quite a bit, which I was not expecting from such a high-end phone from Elephone. I really hope that Elephone improves the HDR mode on this phone as it really has a lot of room to improve and sometimes it just does not improve the photo, it sometimes makes it worse. I also want to talk about the bokeh mode. The bokeh mode here is okay, I would say. Sometimes it really does not separate the background from the foreground, as you can see in this photo over here. It sometimes gets confused between the background and the foreground, and it will blur out some parts of the photo. For example, this part of my dog, it blurred out part of his head, which should not be blurred out. So I do think they have more work to do on the bokeh mode. But when it does work, it does make for some quite stunning photos because the separation of the background and the foreground really makes the foreground stand out a lot and it makes the photos look very nice as well. The front facing camera here is surprisingly good quality. It does take some very nice photos with some good color saturation and some good detail. And it's also a wide angle lens or fairly wide angle at least, which is something that many people will appreciate from the Elephone U Pro. It's great for selfies. And I really think that Elephone did a great job with the front camera here, which is something I don't often say of many other phones. Usually the front cameras and many other phones are just average or maybe a little bit above average, but here Elephone has really gone above and beyond with the front camera. Finally, let's talk about low light on this phone. And really the low light performance on this phone is very disappointing. It's almost on par with other crappy phones in terms of low light performance. There was a lot of grain, there was not a lot of detail, and the colors are just not very nice to look at. So the low light performance here is very bad. I'm not sure if Elephone can actually improve it. It might be a hardware limitation, but we'll see if Elephone can release some updates that will make the photos look better. The camera on the Elephone U Pro records up to 4K resolution, and I'm pleased to say that the video quality here is not bad. I was hoping for better quality video from the Elephone U Pro, but sadly the video quality here is about on par with a Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus. So again, it's definitely usable, definitely pretty good video, but it's nowhere near what you get on the Xiaomi Mi Note 3, which admittedly has a great camera and a great video camera as well. But as you can see in these videos, there is quite a little bit of detail. There's not a lot of detail, but there is enough, especially for a 4K video clip. Color reproduction and color saturation is quite nice as well. And I do think that overall, the Elephone U Pro does take some pretty decent video. It's just not up there with the top phones that you see. So what are my thoughts on the Elephone U Pro? The Elephone U Pro can take some very, very good photos as well as some very, very good front-facing camera photos as well. The blur mode works fairly well. Sometimes it does have trouble with differentiating between the background and the foreground. And finally, this phone has a lot of trouble with low light photography. It has enough trouble that I'm questioning whether Elephone U Pro did enough with the software to make low light photos usable. And finally, the video quality here is pretty good, but it definitely could be better in terms of detail. It's pretty good in terms of color saturation. But with that being said, this is definitely a good camera overall, but I do hope that Elephone takes the opportunity to improve it in the future as well. Don't forget to enter the giveaway in the description below. It's easy, it takes five seconds, and it's free. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.